The mandate of the PAU is to monitor and regulate exploration, development and production together with refining, gas conversion and storage and transportation of petroleum within Uganda. Uh, Oranto Petroleum Limited uh, is a company based in Nigeria but we operate in uh, 12 different countries with uh, producing licenses in Nigeria and uh, New Guinea. Uh, we participated in the Uganda licensing round and were awarded the license. Uh, the project that is ongoing right now is known as a 2D seismic acquisition operation conducted by the licensee known as Oranto Petroleum Limited. And this is an operation that falls under the Ingasa block. On the 10th of October 2017, Oranto Petroleum Limited acquired a production sharing agreement which gave them access to exploration licenses in Ingasa shallow contract area and Ingasa deep play area. Now the Ingasa shallow contract area covers the, starts from the top of the ground surface to a horizon in the subsurface whose edge is equivalent to the mid Pliocene era. So at the moment we are doing 2D acquisition with our contractor IMC who jointly partnered with uh, MSL as uh, our national content policy and promote a uh, joint venturesship. So M MSL is a Ugandan based company and IMC is an international based company and we are doing offshore 2D acquisition. This is the first stratigraphic licensing that has been done in East Africa. Other countries where we've had this kind of licensing are Trinidad, Tobago and Norway. So what you're seeing here is part of the work program that the company needs to implement in order to identify where they can drill an exploration well. We are making very good progress in making sure that we get very good quality data and be able to integrate it with the, the old seismic data over Angasa and then we'll be able to make um, a very good evaluation of the prospectivity of the Ngasa license area. The Ngasa block is located on the, within the Albertine Graben, close to, the, to Lake Albert, and uh, it's located on the, at the basement of the escarpment on the, on the eastern side of the Albertine Graben. It, the Ngasa block covers an area of 410 square kilometers. Uh, when you look at uh, the uh, survey, the seismic survey itself, um, uh, the contracted figure for the survey is uh, $2 million, but uh, that's what goes to the contractor. But we, we have other addenda and uh, expenditures because we have to operate a camp, we have to do an SIA, we have to have security, we have to transport uh, equipment and people, we have to clear them with the URA, and uh, we, need, we also have to have uh, our staff working on the project. We have expenses from our corporate headquarters, so the, the project could uh, end up costing us maybe up to $3 million. The government does not incur any costs when it comes to when the company fails to find. As I say, this is an investment by the company. This is their business. So they, if they find the oil, then they have the reason to keep the block and develop it. But if they do not find the oil, then most times you find it's a business decision on letting the block go and then go back and look for oil elsewhere. So the government is not involved in losing any money or any transactions when the company decides to go. You know, before we started this survey, and it being on Lake Albert, where we had the uh, we have had issues with the Congolese militia, sometimes uh, attacking fishermen. We, we engaged with the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, who also engaged the Uganda People's Defense Forces, the Uganda Police, Minister of Energy, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, which liaised with the Congolese government uh, to make sure that security during our survey is uh, handled well. Uh, they, we, they also organized uh, the Uganda Police. First Forces Marine and the Uganda Police Marine, and we also have the private company which does come for security, that's G4S. We have uh, 
probably all actors within our security curriculums in the country. Uh, we have the police, we have uh, the army, and uh, we have the intelligence community. And we bring all together several uh, elements that are critical to the success of this operation. I command the Marines, and uh, since these are uh, offshore seismic operations, I'm the lead agency there. And we make sure that uh, we insulate Oranto seismic uh, assets and the personnel against any threat uh, that would uh, come in their way uh, to, to, to limit the chances of their success. As a consequence of that, we have the land elements, we have the air uh, component, and we have also, uh, as I've told you, the water, or in other cases you can, you can say maritime uh, components. We have uh, that aspect uh, based on our, you know, our doctrine, which is joint combined. We combine all elements to make sure that we attain the security we need, and that is why we are here. In this particular activity, fulfilling that particular mandate, we, the PIU deploys monitors who are always observing what petroleum operations are ongoing, ongoing within the fields. And as you can see right now on this particular project, uh, I'm here representing the PAU such that I can see that the, there is compliance in terms of the regulation, there's compliance in terms of submitting raw data to the government, there's also compliance in terms of safety when this operation is being implemented. We had to engage community members of this area, the Tonya Parish, uh, to ensure that they cooperate with us such that our information or our activities are non-interrupted, not withstanding or not compromising also their activities. So we engage them in various, at various levels of engagement from the district, sub-county, then we came to the village where we met with the local community members who do the fishing activity and we requested them to always give us time to do our activity during daytime from um, 8 to 6 and in the night they go out into the lake and do their fish hunting. We have gone ahead to put a tool known as the National Suppliers Database which captures all the information of different suppliers within the industry and uh, this helps to also keep the environment conducive for people to invest. You're not having the case of briefcase companies, you're not having scenarios where you have uh, organizations that are not legal or they're not genuine. So the NSD helps to address that and it also helps to show what kind of workforce that we have in Uganda to meet the oil and gas industry. So that is a very favorable tool as well. The other one that we're developing currently is known as the National Oil Talent uh, National Oil and Gas Talent Register, where we capture all the details of the different uh, engineers, geologists, petroleum geologists that we have within the country. And it's a platform which is currently being filled with all the documents of different individuals within the country who have the expertise. This creates a pool when a company comes here before we start looking for expatriates to take on the role. This platform is used and reviewed by the licensee to see that they can get the people locally who have the expertise to come and work on these projects. We look forward to uh, going into the next phase of the exploration, which is the last two years, starting October 2019. And uh, we, we feel confident that uh, we'll be able to make a discovery, uh, as since Uganda is uh, one of the areas in the world with uh, very high uh, discovery rates, we see ourselves as wanting to be among the lucky ones.